This is quite an interesting little problem because it looks like uh, this is relatively straightforward, a uh, quadratic that we need to solve. Um, but in actual fact, there's a twist, as we'll see in a minute. So let's have a look. We've got w squared add 2w add 1 minus 8i equals 0, where i is the square root of minus 1. So we know that this is a, a, is a complex quadratic. Um, and, but we can still use the quadratic formula, letting uh, this here be a, this be b, and this be c, 1 minus 8i, so we can get the solution w equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and let's plug in our uh, uh, our uh, coefficients. We have uh, minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 1 minus 8i all over 2. Okay, so far so easy, which equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4, oops, sorry, add 32i all over 2, which equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 32i over 2. Uh, we can uh, take out uh, 16 from here, 32 is uh, 16 times 2, so that would be equals minus 2 plus or minus 4 root 2i over 2, which is minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 2i. And herein lies the problem, because we have i inside the square root. So if we just expand that slightly, we get minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 2 root i. So we need to find out what the square root of i is, in order to uh, solve this equation. So okay, so let's just get a little bit of, uh, of spare space here. Um, so to solve, uh, find out what the square root of i is, let's let z squared equal i, um, and let z equal uh, a plus ib. Um, so therefore, a plus ib squared equals i. Uh, a squared, let's just expand that out, a squared add 2abi minus b squared equals i. Comparing the uh, reals, which are a squared and b squared, we have a squared minus b squared is zero, and comparing the imaginaries, we have 2ab equals one. Okay, so from this equation here, a squared minus b squared equals zero, we have a equals plus or minus b. Um, and when we plug that into the second equation here, we have uh, 2a squared equals one, that's if we use a equals plus b, then we have 2a squared equals one, i.e. a equals plus or minus uh, 1 over root 2, or plus or minus uh, the square root of a half, which equals plus or minus 1 over root 2. Now, if we have uh, a equals minus b, um, then we have 2 times a times minus a equals 1, which gives us a squared equals minus a half, and we can reject that option because we know that a is real. So therefore we know uh, in, our, in our quest to find uh, uh, the square root of i, we know that a is plus or minus root half, and therefore we know that the square root of i is, if a is 1 over root 2, then b is 1 over root 2, because we know that a equals b, i over root 2, and also root square root of i, the second square root of i, is minus 1 over root 2 minus i over root 2. So we have two solutions to the square root of i. Now that we know what the square root of i is, we can plug these two values here, sorry, excuse me, back into our equation and find the solution. So let's go back here. So we have, going across to this side now, we have that uh, w equals minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 2 root i. So let's take the first solution, w equals minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 2 times 1 over root 2 add i over root 2, which was our first root of i that we found, where the square root of i we've already calculated is one of the solutions is 1, one over root 2 add i over root 2. And let's just expand that out. So w equals minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 2 uh, sorry, plus or minus, uh, sorry, I've gone a bit wrong now. Let's expand the bracket. Minus 1 plus or minus 2 brackets 
2 plus 2i, because the root 2 cancels out here, which would give us a solution of minus 1 minus 2 minus 2i, or minus 1 add 2 add 2i. Now the second solution is where we put the other square root of i in, minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 2 times minus 1 over root 2, which is the second square root, minus i over root 2. And you'll find that this actually gives us the same answer. When we expand this out, we get exactly the same answers of w equals minus 1 minus 2 minus 2i, or w equals minus 1 add 2 add 2i. And let's just simplify those. This answer here clearly is minus 3 minus 2i, and this answer here is 1 plus 2i. So the two solutions to the equation um, w squared add 2w add 1 minus 8i are a w equals 1 plus 2i and b w equals minus 3 minus 2i.